To integrate Judgment with Interact, the first step is to create a workflow. To create a workflow, simply go to the Automation section and click on Workflows. Here, to create a new workflow, simply click on Create a new workflow. For this video, we've already created a workflow, so we'll just walk you through it. For the feedbacks or reviews to automatically get synced on Judgment and to your Shopify store, you need to create the workflow with the following questions. The first question should ask the customer's email ID. The second question should ask the rating of the product. The third question should ask the customer's experience as to when they first purchased the product. And then you can simply end the chat. You can also save all of these responses as a user trait or as a customer variable. In case you don't wish to save this, you can simply go and click on save changes. The second step is to create a feedback campaign. To create the feedback campaign, simply go to the notification section and hit on new campaign. Click on start from scratch. Give your campaign a name. Let's suppose I'll give the name as feedback campaign. In this step one, you can select two types of campaign, whether it can be a one-time campaign, which is a manual campaign or an ongoing campaign, which can be an automated campaign. In this case, we'll be creating an ongoing campaign. For the ongoing feedback campaign, you can set up the trigger against two events. One can be as soon as the order is delivered or as soon as the order is placed. For this case, I will be selecting order delivered. Then. You can also set up the trigger as to when the campaign should get sent to the end customer. Either you can send this immediately or you can send it with a delay. In this case, I would like to send out this campaign after a delay of two days. Here you can also select either hours or minutes as per your own choice. Once you have set up the trigger. You can click on done and go next and select your template. I've already created a feedback template over here, which I'll be selecting right away. Since this template has one of the variables, which contains name, I'll just map it as the name field. You would also want to enable the button click tracking option over here so that you can get to know as to how many people have actually clicked on the button. Simply enable this and go to the next step. In this step, based on the workflow that we created in the first step, what you can do is you can just click on setup or workflow. And on my template, there was a button which said give feedback. So we'll be selecting on button click and we'll just click on give feedback. After the customer clicks on the give feedback button, please select the workflow you would like to trigger. Click on view workflow library and simply search for your workflow. My workflow name was judge me test, hence I'll just select it, click on done and hit save. Now this workflow has been added. Go to the next step wherein you can schedule a message as to when you would want this campaign to go live. Let's suppose I want this campaign to go live immediately and I never want to end this campaign. So select never. Click on done and set this campaign live. Your campaign is created successfully. After your feedback campaign is created, the next and the final step is to connect to your JudgeMe account. To connect to your JudgeMe account, simply head over to the integration section and search for JudgeMe. Click on connect to interact. You can read through the terms and conditions mentioned here along with the pricing. Once you've agreed for these terms and conditions, you may click on next. Once you're redirected to a new tab, you'll see a workflow create mentioned over here. Simply click on this workflow and hit install. As you can see, the description of the workflow is given that whenever a feedback workflow is completed on Interact, create a review on JudgeMe. We've also mentioned the steps on how you can install and get this activated. All right, let's do the setup now. To do the setup, click on edit settings. 
ओवर य Enter your interact secret key, which you can get from your interact dashboard itself. Simply go back to interact, click on this icon, and head over to developer settings. Simply copy the secret key, come back on this tab, and paste the key, and hit connect. Your interact account is connected now. To authorize your Jajmi account, simply click on authorize. A new tab will open up wherein you can simply complete your Jajmi credentials and authenticate your account. In this case, my account was already logged in, hence it got automatically connected. Once this connection is done, simply click on Flow Configuration. Under Flow Configuration, the first step is to apply the Workflow ID condition such that only the particular workflow's responses get captured via the webhooks. And get sent to judge me. So on the first drop down, select workflow ID, select text contains, and then you can simply copy your workflow ID from the interact section by simply going to automations, workflows, selecting the workflow. Let's suppose this workflow will select, copy the workflow ID from the URL, and simply paste it over here. Second step is to enter the shop domain. To get the shop domain, you can simply go to your Shopify store, hit the settings button, and copy the Shopify store URL from here. Since this was a Shopify platform, we'll select Shopify in in the section. Now, to map the email field, simply go back to your workflow and select as to where exactly. You are capturing the email ID of the customer. So here you are capturing on the step second. So simply go back to the email section. Here, if there is a first question, you should you need to select data answer message. Now since it was a third question, so we'll select data answer to message over here, which means. Whatever the customer's response is for this particular question of email ID, the response will get captured and get synced to Judgmi under the email field. Similarly, for name, you can simply select customer name. For review and name format, you can select either the last initial, all initials, or keep the review as anonymous. So let's suppose I'll keep this as anonymous in this case. Similarly, for mapping the rating. Select the value where exactly you have asked for rating. So in this case, we have asked the rating on a scale of one to five in the first question itself. So here we'll select data answer message. In case you wanna map the title, although it's not mandatory, but if in case you wanna map the title as well, you can select from the relevant field as per your own choice. In this case, I'll just skip the title for now. And finally, to map the modi field, which basically contains the review, here we asked in the question number two. Hence, here we will map the value as data answer one message. Once you have done this mapping, simply click on activate. Once your workflow is activated, simply go back to the connect section, and here you will see a webhook URL. Simply copy this webhook URL. Head back to the interact section. Click on the profile section, developer settings, and click on edit configuration under configure webhook. Paste the webhook URL over here, and head on to the other section. Please ensure to enable this particular webhook topic, which says responses received from customers and workflows. Also note that this functionality. Is only available on the advanced plan. Once you've selected this topic, simply click on submit. Your configuration is now done. Now, let's test out this configuration. To test this out, I'll simply go on the inbox section. Here, I'll just quickly search my number. I'll select the template that we had selected, which was "Touch me feedback," and I'll quickly send out this message. To see how the integration will look like, I'll show you the screenshot from the customer perspective. 
Here, as you can see the conversation, we had given a button in the template. I'll simply type out, click on the button, which is give feedback. The first question is about sharing the experience with Interact on a scale of 1 to 5. Let's suppose I'll select 5. The second question is based on the above rating, share your experience in less than 100 words. I'll just give a random feedback. Next question is to share the email ID since this is mandatory. So you need to include this into your workflow. Let's suppose I'll just quickly share my email ID and it's done. Your workflow is completed. You may click on enter. Now to verify whether this integration was successfully done or not, you can go back to the integration section. Under logs, you should be able to see this entry. So as you can see, the workflow has been successfully executed and the review has also get gotten created on judgment. To check this, simply go to your Shopify store that was connected. Head over to apps. As you can see, the review has been successfully created.